Imagine carrying the power of seven elite penetration testing, ethical hacking, and offensive security operating systems all on a single USB. That's exactly what you get with the Ultimate USB version 2.1. And that's just one category out of over a dozen. Today, we're booting into each one of those and giving you a quick tour of what makes them unique. So let's dive in. This video is for educational purposes only. The tools shown are designed for ethical hacking, penetration testing, and system recovery in environments you own or have permission to test. Do not use them for any unauthorized activity. First up, Athena. Athena is the newest player, a rolling release designed for continuous penetration testing. It's designed to always stay updated meaning you're never behind on tools or patches. Fun fact, Athena is named after the Greek goddess of wisdom and warfare. Pretty fitting for a penetration testing operating system. Athena is well-packaged and categorized by blue team and red team. A whole bunch of stuff for the red team here. We won't go through it all, but here are the different categories. Information gathering, vulnerability analysis, web application analysis, database assessments, password attacks, wireless attacks, reverse engineering, exploitation tools, sniffing and spoofing, post-exploitation, forensics, reporting tools, social engineering tools, and system services. Pretty much everything you need for ethical hacking and penetration testing. Next up, we have Backbox. Backbox is Ubuntu-based and built for efficiency. It comes with a curated set of penetration testing and vulnerability assessment tools. One highlight is its lightweight desktop environment, XFCE, making it run smooth even on older hardware. Fun fact, Backbox is especially popular in Italy, where it originated, and is known for being very community-driven. Backbox has just about everything you would need for ethical hacking, pen testing, one gripe I will say, at least in my opinion, it's not as well organized. So all applications, there is a ton of stuff here. You'll see some familiar names. Gparted, uh, I saw off crack in here. You're going to have air crack in G. So you've got all the stuff. It's just, I don't use this a lot. So maybe there's a better way to browse the different categories. It's just not as well categorized or organized as some of my other favorites but this is Backbox. Next up on the list, we have Black Arc. Black Arc is hardcore. Over 3,000 hacking tools are available through its repositories. It's based on Arc Linux, so you get rolling updates and full customization. Fun fact about Black Arc. Unlike Kali or Parrot, Black Arc does not come preloaded with everything. You install tools as you need them, making it super modular. Now, in my opinion, Black Arc Slim, which is what we're looking at here, is better than the Black Arc Full just because of the layout and ease of use. You right-click here, you will get the menu where you can go to all applications, and then they have things categorized here. You'll see some Black Arc specific tools. I'm not going to go through all of these, but just know that through the repositories, there's over 3,000 hacking tools ready for you to install and get cracking. All right, that's Black Arc. One of the coolest logos, in my opinion, as well. All right, next up on our list, we have Fedora Security Lab. Fedora Security Lab is a live distribution built for audits and forensic work. It provides a safe test environment with tools like Wireshark, Medusa, and many others, all neatly organized into the Security Lab menu. Fun fact. Fedora Security Lab actually comes with a pre-configured training environment, making it a great choice for classrooms and workshops. The main menu we're going to be looking at here is the Security Lab under Applications. And again, a lot of different categories here, along with some other applications at the bottom. You've got Code Analysis, Forensics, Intrusion Detection, Network Statistics, Password Tools, Reconnaissance, a very large suite of reconnaissance tools. You have some VoIP tools, 
web application testing, wireless. And then along with those categories, we have some individual utilities here as well. Another solid choice. All right, guys, if you've been watching me for a while, you Kali Linux is my favorite offensive security, ethical hacking, penetration testing operating system. By far, call me a fanboy. I don't care. I love Kali Linux. Kali Linux is the gold standard for penetration testing. Right out of the box, you get hundreds of pre-installed tools like Metasploit, Wi-Fi, InMap, and so much more. One standout feature in Kali Linux is Kali Undercover Mode which instantly makes your desktop look like Windows to avoid drawing attention. Fun fact, Kali was originally called Backtrack up until about 2013. Kali Linux is very well organized and has everything you need right out of the box. Information gathering, vulnerability analysis, web application analysis, database assessments, password attacks, wireless attacks, reverse engineering, exploitation tools, sniffing and spoofing, post-exploitation, forensics, reporting tools, social engineering tools, and then you have Kali and Offsec links. So this thing literally does it all. Again, it's my favorite. Black Arc has a cool logo, but Kali has the best one. That's my humble opinion. All right, so let's take a look at that mentioned feature here. It's called Kali Undercover Mode. Nothing to see here, folks. I promise. I'm just on Windows. Totally not on Kali right now. All right. That's Kali Linux. Next up is an operating system that you definitely cannot go wrong with in the offensive security ethical hacking space. Parrot OS. Parrot is like Kali's versatile cousin. It's lightweight, privacy focused, and excellent for secure browsing as well as hacking. It even includes built-in tools for anonymity or staying anonymous, like AnonServe, which routes all traffic through Tor. Fun fact about Parrot. Parrot OS was created by a team in Italy and is one of the fastest growing security distributions in the whole world. This is truly an awesome operating system that is well-rounded. So if you need to do some red teaming or maybe you're doing a penetration test, but you also want some of the features on a regular operating system, Parrot is a little more well-rounded in my opinion than Kali. So let's take a look around. Locations, as you see, outside of just ethical hacking and offsec, we do have an office suite here with Libre, some internet tools. We have graphics, sound and video, even a game built in, pen testing. Here we go, baby. Most used tools. That's actually pretty cool. I, I wish Cali would have that built in as well. I think that's really nice, like the top score menu type of thing, right? So here's your most used tools, probably what you're going to gravitate towards right away. Information gathering, vulnerability assessments or analysis, excuse me, web application analysis, exploitation tools, maintaining access like post-exploitation, password attacks, wireless testing, sniffing and spoofing, digital forensics, automotive. That's actually really cool. So you have some car utilities in their own category. Reverse engineering and reporting tools. Also an amazing logo. That parrot, I've seen it in different variations and different wallpapers. Very nice, in my opinion. I like Cali, Parrot, Black Arc, definitely in the top three for me anyway, as far as the uh, logos or their mascots, if you will. So solid pick here. Parrot, it's up there on my list for sure. Quick note here, I forgot to mention it when I booted into Kali Linux and Arc Linux, but they do come with persistence on the USB. If you're not familiar with that, I've done full videos on it, but essentially allows you to save your work. So you, I add a small few gigabyte file, and that way you can save, install applications, do all that good stuff, and pick up right where you left off next time you plug that USB in. So no, you have the option to boot live with or without persistence. So maybe you want it, maybe you don't. The option is there for both Kali Linux and Black Arc. All right, last up on the list is Pen2. I'm not going to go into Pen2 today, guys. If you want a full video on it, let me know. Um, this is more for advanced users. You have to configure some things before you actually dive into the GUI itself. But in a nutshell, Pen2 is Gen2 based and geared toward experienced users who want maximum performance. It's optimized for penetration testing with kernel patches for things like packet injection and hardened security testing. Fun fact about Pen2, it uses the Gen2 portage system, 
which lets you compile software optimized specifically for your hardware. So there you have it. Seven powerful offensive security operating systems on a single USB. Whether you're doing audits, learning ethical hacking, or just experimenting, this drive puts an entire arsenal in your pocket. If you found this helpful, hit like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments. Which of these operating systems would you boot into first?